What's up guys, got my first cup of coffee. We're about to get this day going. I wanna give you guys a little behind the scenes look at my life as an entrepreneur, just maybe one day. Uh, I have my hands in a lot of things. There's a lot going on. I've probably been working about you know 12 to 16 hour days realistically for the last five years. I wanna show you some of the things I'm into. Let's get after it. You know, we've got hundreds and hundreds of suspensions and stuff to, be, to go away. So, like, okay. it's okay. not the worst case scenario ever. So, just keep okay. that in mind. Okay. Okay. Very good. Then I think um, we'll, we'll move forward and see how fast we can get, get back in the game of selling on Amazon. I love it. Okay. A lot has changed since my early days as a consultant when I was, you know, really just freelancing, helping people on Amazon. A lot of my work was like Excel sheets and really the back end of Amazon, helping people navigate that. And it's really moved into, sorry, I couldn't find the word, but it's moved into a place now that's a lot more strategy, and a lot more problem solving, putting out fires. And that's my role now with Marknology. Um, and to reprioritize. I think a lot of being an entrepreneur, if you're reading a lot of books, listening to a lot of stuff, they all say the same things, and it's being able to constantly reprioritize your day, your tasks, the things you need to get done. So start the day, attack the things that are important, attack the things you have to get done, and then be ready to readjust as the day goes. We're about to meet with Phil Kennedy. This is my second meeting with him. The first one was a little short. Uh, he's looking to create a program, a software, an app, uh, to help entrepreneurs get funding, kind of get through business operations when they're first starting out. He knows that I've done it, uh, and I have a lot of relationships here in the city. He's looking to pick my brain, get some insight on uh, how we could help entrepreneurs. So let's get after it. It's like, you know, if I've eaten dirt, I'm just always coming from my perspective and yeah. trying to understand because I also mentor a lot of students yeah. in entrepreneurship. Yeah. And it's like, I've already ate dirt. I don't need you to remind me yeah. to eat dirt. Yeah. Like, I know yeah. how my business is doing, yeah. you know? And I, so it comes off very, like, abrasive. It's a very us versus you. Yes, mentality. it's abrasive. And I'm like, look, I'm doing you a favor by potentially letting you in on my big idea. Yeah. You know, that's how I feel. That's, uh, and that's how you should feel. That's how we as founders should feel. And, I, and it's... We, we're, we're trying to change the narrative of us versus you to we. And I've even communicated that to the group that we lost contact with for six weeks ago. If there is some aspect of this ask that doesn't make sense to you or you aren't 100% on board with, let's have an adult conversation about it. Just don't go dark. If you go in dark, I don't. I can't react to you going dark. Yeah. So if you can come back to me and say, your ask is this, and we would rather approach it this way, then I can react to that, or we can react to that as a business. So he's someone I can help either connect or, um, you know, refer him out to people that I work with. I mentor UMKC, eScholars. Uh, so for me, it's been someone that I want to get to know more about what he does. How can he help Marknology? How can he help people I work with? Another great guy. Uh, just moved to Kansas City, actually. So that was a good meeting. We'll keep things going. You never know. Like, for instance, we talked a little bit in the meeting about how he introduced me to his sister. Uh, one thing that I'm doing is I bring containers over from overseas, like fully, fi fully furnished, livable, tiny homes. And uh, they're building a container village here in Kansas City. He made that connect, so you never know what you're going to get out of a meeting. You just go in with no uh, expectations and see where it goes. Phil's a great example of that. We've got the rain. We've kind of had some bad weather, which is typical. Um, we laid some gravel down over here where Brian is so that the uh, forklift and the crane could get into the spot where we're laying the container. Technology office, we're going to go talk to Laura and Garrett from Nosa Self. There's a few things we're going to be covering about the account, FBA Small and Light specifically, and digging into a few other things. She just came back from a conference with Gary V. I think she has some good insight to share with us and where she's taking her business. Uh, I'm excited to connect with them. Or whatever from like literally copying uh, what other people have done to create their store. So I definitely know that you have rights around that. I just don't know. I'm, I'm not a lawyer as far as like being able to say this is good, this isn't. I have a letter already drafted and I can't hurt us to draft a letter to Amazon, see what they say. Right. If you already have it, we just submit it. I mean, I have the letter that's 
If you send a cease and desist, I just think you need to do it under trademark infringement or copyright infringement based on brand confusion. Like that being the reason. Let my failure be your success. <laughs> You're welcome. All the lessons. No, it's part of the reasons I know what not to do for brands and what to pay attention to and like why we decided to get into this to help brands navigate it was because like some of those lessons we learned early on, you know, not just for us, but problems for other brands we learned through them like, okay, so you need to be like careful about this and this is something that you can do, this is something that you can't do. And Under my login, like I don't know, um, I have a lot of permissions, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to turn everything on, so let's see what, what do I need to do. Got about three minutes before I hop on this other call with my team. Training call with my team, that's what's going on behind the scenes. This client uh, is a new client. We're about to jump in and start handling their brand's problems. I wanted to talk to you about uh, one short tip I have about sales. So this sale's already been made. Uh, we're already engaged in partners, but I've been doing a lot of thinking before we get on this call about research into the company and what I can solve for them before they even ask. So what I want to leave you with is this. like. I work with a lot of brands that are B2B manufacturers, uh, maybe they've always been in brick and mortar, and they have different problems than other people have. So these might be their problems, they're not necessarily my problems as a business, but by thinking about them, about understanding, having uh, empathy for those problems, uh, I can do a better job at my job. Those things might be minimum advertised price, uh, it could be uh, issues with their sales people or distributors, uh, meaning they don't want to take sales from them to e-commerce. It could be uh, worrying that Amazon's going to copy their products or counterfeit. Uh, it could be any number of these things, but by me being prepared with educated answers on what other brands have done or strategies that we can do to overcome those, I've immediately put this new partner of mine at ease and ease their mind. And it makes me look more of a professional and more of an expert to, to handle the issue. I just met with my PR coach, uh, Byron Ginsberg. He is uh, a mentor of mine. I reached out to him through UMKC and now we're doing business together. He's helping me understand how to get my speaking materials together, how to show off my work in a professional way, how to reach out to uh, other podcasts that I can potentially be a speaker on or a guest on that show, uh, helping me get into some newspaper articles. Uh, it's one tip, like this is part of my day. Part of my day is improving areas that I lack uh, and reaching out to people that can help me get to where I wanna be. So this meeting was super helpful for me. I'm like, super excited to start uh, my coaching with Byron and uh, excited to, to take the next step toward my speaking career. The goal of this vlog was really to show you a little bit of a day in the life. It's not everything that happened today, uh, but a little bit behind the scenes of like the go, go, go. It's not all Amazon. There's a whole lot to entrepreneurship. There's a whole lot of business. There's a whole lot to personal development that's, that you have to work on all the time and still fit the work in. I wanted to show you a little bit about the type of people I'm meeting, the things I'm working on, the thought process that are going on, what it takes to be a leader, what it takes to be an entrepreneur. Uh, I hope you like this vlog. I'll give you some more behind the scenes later. Comment, let me know what you thought about it. Subscribe, talk to you soon.